stories are a way of alleviating the suffering, of alleviating fear, because this it makes it real. This is how John did this. Yeah. You know, he didn't want a feeding tube. He changed his mind, and yet, okay, what does it mean by changing my mind? And you know, it's just it it, it brings it it brings it home, right? Yeah. Um, it's, I think when we share our stories, when people have had the, the generosity of spirit in this exquisitely vulnerable time in their lives to invite me in and share their mm -hmm. stories, I think while it's incredibly generous and brave to, to do that, I also think that there's, it, it's nourishing for people as well to be able to connect with others and, and let me and hopefully others traveling this journey and people who are unfamiliar with ALS understand some of what this has meant to this one person, mm -hmm. that there's a sense of legacy, that I can leave behind something that was me um, and it will live on beyond me. It's a, it's a way of connecting with each other. Mm -hmm. It's a way of mattering. I think we all want to matter. We all want to be seen and mm -hmm. heard. And so sharing stories are a way of, of giving you a little bit of me. And then you can carry that with you and share that with others. So it's it's a way of becoming immortal in some ways. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's a soulful work. Yeah. And it's sacred work. That's and it's not really work. It's an exchange. Yeah. And shouldn't it be that way? Again, you, you our, our our babies are born into this world, hopefully in a very sacred way. And yes, it always doesn't go right. Should we not be allowed to die in a very sacred way, held in a really beautiful way, though it doesn't always go that way? But shouldn't that be the intent? The intent. Yeah. Shouldn't that be at the forefront of everything that we do? And how do we do that? We have to grow ourselves, I think. We have to have an awareness that maybe this just isn't the right way. You know, someone's dying. At what point do... Um, uh, does the clinical care drop away? Do symptom managing symptoms? Um, you know, we need to uh, we need to pay as much attention, if not more, to the heart, to the soul, mm. as to we do body. to the physical body. Yeah. Um, and that dying is an end, and it's not a failure or a defeat. Mm -hmm. Again, I think that part of what I've witnessed in this world of ALS is this sort of raising up and putting on a heroic pedestal the, the folks who choose to defy death mm -hmm. through modern medicine. And, and yet, I, I, one of the things I want to do is shine a light on the, the heroes who choose to die, who allow the disease to come mm -hmm. and to face that end, and that it's not a failure or a defeat. Mm -hmm. It's a choice that can be very noble and heroic and and beautiful um, so I just yeah that there's I think there's such a um, in our culture we don't want to look at death we don't want to see it it's we don't even know how to be conscious or mindful of what we want the end to look like as we do with birth because we're so busy saying it's it's we have to beat it how do we beat it mm -hmm. and yet with these diseases that don't have cures you know, how do you die? Yeah. That's such an important conversation. And so one of the blessings of you and your organization is allowing people the opportunity to explore that conversation and for it to be okay to think about their own death. Because in every other circle, we don't want to talk about your dying. That's a failure. We're not going to go there. We're going to beat it. Mm -hmm. And you're saying it's actually okay to think about this and what ease and peace and comfort that allows for people. Yeah, it's not a defeat. Right. I look at it as a victory. Yeah. You know, I mean, we all get to go. Yeah. And uh, it's just, can we, can we create the space, hold the space for those who are going, for those who are dying? It's about holding that space. That's why every time we walk into a room, you know, uh, it's about walking in in a calm kind of a way. And just maybe doing nothing, like we spoke of before. Mm -hmm. uh, because sometimes, and again, there's nothing to fix. It's just that presence. I'm here with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm here with you. Yeah. If you wish me to be. Yeah. Right? 